Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. So as you guys can tell by the title, Clarissa Shields versus Emma Colzine, it's official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So um, yeah, the fight's official. Fight's taking place on the 11th of December, December 11, 2021. Uh, it looks like it will be the co-future, the co-main event for the Chris Eubank versus Liam Williams fight to be shown live on Sky Sports over in the UK, over here in the United States of America. I'm not entirely sure what channel will be watching it. Hopefully ESPN The Zone or somebody picks this fight up, uh, this event up, because it's not a bad event. It's a pretty damn good event in my opinion. Clarissa Shields is back to boxing just the way I like it. Um, I'm not a fan of uh, her moving to MMA or her trying out MMA. I wasn't really a big fan of that. I mean, props to Clarissa Shields for trying it out. But, you know, as a boxing fan, I wanted Clarissa Shields to focus on boxing and solidify herself as the GOAT because she honestly has what it takes to solidify herself as the GOAT. Like, no doubt, undisputed GOAT ever. As long as she focuses on boxing. And she can do that. And... Here she is, focused back on boxing. Uh, if you guys don't know, she apparently signed a multi-fight deal with uh, Sky Sports and Boxer Promotions, uh, the new promotional company in Europe. And um, yeah, apparently it's a seven-figure seven figure deal. So she's getting paid a lot of money. Getting paid a lot of money by Sky Sports and Boxer. And um, you know, I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her to, to be, that she's finally getting paid what she deserves in the sport of boxing. And... Uh, you know, here she is fighting in a, a pretty damn good card if you ask me. And if you still don't know who Clarissa Shields is, she's now 26 years old from Flint, Michigan. Former Olympian, 11-0, two wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Former undisputed champion at 154 pounds and 160 pounds. For this fight, she'll be uh, fighting at middleweight. She'll be defending her 160 titles in this fight. And she's going against undefeated Emma Cuisine. A 20... What? 22? Wow. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. I thought she was older than 22. 22-year-old um, fighter from Slovenia. 21-0. One draw. 11 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. I'm going to be completely honest. I, I, I have no idea who Emma Cuisine is. Uh, it's my first time hearing of her. Uh, looking at her resume. Um... Yeah, I don't recognize anybody that she's fought, but she looks like she's fought all over Europe. Um, and now here she is fighting for the world titles. Not just one world title, but all the world titles for undisputed status at 160 pounds. WBC, WBA, IBF, and WBF? Wait, hold up. Where's the WBO title? Did she lose the WBO title? I guess she I guess she got stripped off the WBO belt. Maybe. So WBF. What the heck is this belt? WBF. So I guess three world titles will be on the line. Not not undisputed status. WBC, WBA, and IBF. All this time I thought it was WBO, but it's WBF. I don't what the heck is that? Anyway, um good card. Uh, good event. I'll definitely be tuning in. Uh, congratulations to Clarissa Shields on the big deal that she recently signed. Um, a lot of people said that you know, boxing, female boxing, you can't make money, this and that. But in my opinion, it really is on the rise. It, I feel like female boxing is um, getting more popular year after year uh, with the likes of Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, Clarissa Shields, uh, Michaela Mayer. Um, uh, McCaskill, uh, and I'm blanking on some names, but those are the top names I could think of in the top of my head. But um, but yeah, I'll definitely be tuning in, tune into December, and and hopefully we hear some news about a U.S. broadcaster because obviously Clarissa Shield fans, most of the Clarissa Shield fans live in the U.S., so hopefully uh there will be a U.S.A. broadcaster. Hopefully ESPN. That's what I'm hoping for. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.